Hello! Sorry for the change of scenery, bit of decorating going on in the house. Also the hair cut, it was growing too long, I had to get the clippers on and give it a trim, but I'm sure it'll be growing back to its usual style soon, so sorry for that anyway. Um, Black Lives Matter. I don't know the title I'm going to put on this video, so that's why I haven't mentioned it at the beginning. Black Lives Matter and the insidious liberal leftist mindset that we now see enforcing its terror, its will, wherever it goes in the form of trying to terrorise the police, terrorise universities, pulling statues down. You see, what's happening now, what's being enforced is an insidious mindset. It's gone from a criminal conspiracy, common turn style, to an insidious mindset that's very hard to combat because most of it is based on emotion. People's suffering, slaves, uh, people's rights and things like that. But behind it all, those astute enough know there's a, a bigger agenda, isn't there? Of course there is. It's to destroy our past. Silence any voices regarding anything about being proud to be white. Be proud to be black, be proud to be Chinese, good on you. Be, be proud to be Indian, good on you. But be proud to be white, woo, never, right? They're enforcing their terror and tyranny now. More statues are going to come down. University Hall... Halls with names like William Gladstone here in Liverpool are going to be changed and so on and so on and so on. Will Penny Lane, the famous uh, Beatles uh, Lane that's, you know, uh, associated with the Beatles. Is that going to change? Because I remember there was uh, plans to try and have that change. We shall see. But the insidious mindset is very, very hard to combat. And it can't be combated by violence. So the Black Lives Matter demo is there this weekend. Those of the so-called far right shouldn't be turning up. Let them do their damage. Let the public see what these people are all about. Because this is what the future holds, isn't it? They're going to enforce their terror and their tyranny. And all the liberals, and that's Boris Johnson. He's not a conservative or a patriot. He's a liberal. Conservatism died decades ago. Enoch Powell, Winston Churchill days. The so-called Tories now are liberals. They agree with the mob on the street. They just don't agree with the violence. That's all. How to combat the insidious leftist liberal mindset that's now enforcing its terror, its will, is to form a new nationalist political party to fight at the ballot box and vote the fuckers out. We don't have to get 300 plus MPs elected. We just need one in there for now. A fox amongst the chickens, like I've said before. You can't beat this with violence, right? The insidious mindset can't be combated with violence. We have to vote the fuckers out. That's the only way. That's the beginning, right? And don't give me this, Nick Griffin. Uh, we can't do it, it won't win, it's not possible, we can't get 300 MPs uh, to form a government. I know quite well we can't get 300 MPs, and you knew that decades ago, let alone saying it a few, several years ago. You knew that decades ago we could never do that. We don't need to get 300 elected, trust me, what will do for now? But in the meantime, the Black Lives Matter, combating it is just totally counterproductive. The public just see the so-called far right, those standing up for white rights, let's say, they just see them as bad as the Black Lives Matter. The government then just uses it as an excuse to stifle all opposition. That oh, we've got to stop these extremists, Black Lives Matter and the far right, they're bringing new laws and before you know it, there's more hate speech laws out and we won't be able to say a thing, right? But I'm sure the usual suspects will be leading the so-called far right if it materialises this weekend. We need to vote them out for a new nationalist political party, which we can do. 
more and more people that never spoke about subjects, topics or politics at all I speak to on a daily basis are now fuming as to what's happening. And like I've said many, many times before, and I'll say it again, our time is now. Okay, thank you. Oh, on a final note, Nigel Farage, are you going to lead us? Are you going to take the bull by the horns? What's happening? Your latest video about anarchy on the streets. You don't mention how you're going to combat or stop the insidious liberal leftist mindset being enforced by movements like Black Lives Matter. You don't mention it because let me tell you this, the problems aren't going away. These fuckers won't be happy till they've got us on our knees begging for mercy. God forbid. Okay, thank you.